Oh, what's next? Oh, bears. Beats Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we talked about the the whole thing going around on the internet. Thought experiment about if you're a woman in the woods, would you rather encounter a bear and a man? And most women are saying a bear. And I guess I didn't realize how common it is to see women and bears together until the memes now have started pouring out. I mean, yeah. Including this gal. She's obviously dancing with a trained bear. I don't know mm-hmm. if, is it Russian? It seems like something they do in Russia. Uh, I mean, Especially if she's blonde. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was also reminded of this book, the 1976 book called Bear by one... Marion Engel. It's a romance novel. Have you heard of this? No. Okay. When I saw it, I realized I saw it. I like flashed back to high school. A girl was reading this in high school. It, it's exactly what it sounds like, Carl. It's a romance novel that features a romance between a woman and a bear. She's in the Canadian wilderness. In fact, it won some sort of I don't know, Juno Award or whatever the Canadian Award for books is. Hilarious. Okay. (laughs) And she gets involved in this romantical situation with the bear. Is it like a magical bear that turns into a person? Or is it just a plain old straight out of the woods, shitting in the woods bear? I would say it's probably a metaphor for, you know, a sort of beauty and the beast situation. Right, right. Where there's extreme danger involved. But uh, I guess she tries to get it on with the bear a couple of times. That was one of the internet comments. But n- I mean, talk about desperation. <laughs> and, and the relationship ends when, spoiler alert, the bear scratches her back too hard. That's all. And it she, took? Re- yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it took. <laughs> she flies too close to the sun, gets mauled by a bear. How mauled are we talking? I, I mean, Just her back isn't that bad. Mauled enough to still live, I guess, and have a happily ever after ending on her own. But There is no way in hell that book would fly nowadays. What a bizarre... I had forgotten <laughs> about that book. But it's a real book. You can Google it. I We just showed you the image. Should I read Bear? You know what? Do it, a Bear book report? <laughs> yeah. If you want to. That's how you start a whole new strand of disease. Is there a Mrs. Bear? (laughs) Mr. Bear? (laughs) Either way, ew. Uh, Also, ew. And uh, thirdly, ew. (laughs) Uh, Don't shoot the messenger. We're just reporting these things. I get it. But also (laughs) you. There's another. Okay. Remember the, uh, there was a Muppet sitcom from 2015 to 2016, one season. It's on Disney plus. Mm -hmm. You can watch episode one called pig girls. Don't cry. Hilarious. So 2015. It stars Ricky Lindholm. You probably don't know the name, but you may know Garfunkel and Oates, who oh, we've yeah. talked about before. She's uh-huh. Garfunkel in that. Oh, funny. Okay. Uh-huh. If you don't know Garfunkel and Oates, it's hilarious because obviously it's a reference to Simon and Garfunkel and Hall and Oates and the two bit players, the the two second place players in those acts. Mm-hmm. And uh, they do a few funny songs. Uh, the one about the loophole we've talked about before mm-hmm. when talking about BYU Idaho. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, and rumors that abound. Mm-hmm. So anyway, she's she decides to get into a relationship with Fozzie Bear. <laughs> There's a hilarious scene where they're sitting at the dinner table. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. I don't see how it's ever gonna work out with you and a You can say it, Dad. He's a bear. Yeah. yeah. This salmon is just terrific. <sighs> Likes the salmon, what a surprise. Do you know, if I'd known, I would have kept some raw for you. Mom! Well, they do catch them in rivers. Actually, I usually get mine at Costco. And then my buddy Brad reminded me about the back to the art you can sit on around the river walk, the Snake Mm -hmm. River Green Belt, some people still call it, with the bears. Oh, uh uh-huh, yeah. uh, By Rhonda Friesen. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, I know the ones. Little three bear seats here. That you can go sit on if you want to sort of replicate being. I'm sure there's an internet joke in there somewhere. You could get some free internet points mm-hmm. by going and sitting on this bench. Yeah, if and, you're a woman and you want a funny post, <laughs> we're giving this to you. Go take a picture on that bench and be like, I also chose the bear. That's for you. Yeah. Now, that being said, I think there are also some men who would choose 
a man who was a bear as well. <laughs> so, so realistically, it's not just a women's issue. It's a men's issue, too. Yeah. If you're a gay man in the woods, who would you rather encounter, a twink or a bear? There, there or we a go. Or a bear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 